okay, this is a, maybe like an, uh, an add-on to the asking for help video. You know, uh, I put one out there about asking for help as a, it's a good litmus test on whether or not the unit that you're on or the, you know, the, the, the people you're working with are, are good to work with. If, now, this is caveated by saying they do have the time to help you. Sometimes people don't have the time to help you. you know, I, I love helping people. I don't have a problem helping my coworkers. But sometimes you know, I've, I've had to refuse. I've said, no, I, I, I can't. I'm sorry. Let me finish this and this. I'll come and help you. And, you know, nine times out of ten when that happens, um, not that it even happens nine times. I think it has only happened a, few, a handful of times. I haven't. They've already finished. You know, it's only been like once or twice where um, I, I, they, they were really in desperate need, and I, and they just, oh yeah, yeah, I still need your help, and I'm, I, and we help, and, and I help them, and, and it's all cool. So anyway, um, a good litmus test of whether or not the unit that you're on is good, in my opinion, is whether or not they're helpful. If they're willing to help you. You know, teach you, help you. It's a good unit. You know, that's one of the things why I stayed on my unit, stayed bedside. You know, the the opportunity came up for for ED and, and whatever. You know, a whole bunch of us, one of my coworkers and friends, jumped ship to ED. And, you know, they're a lot younger. They love this excitement. You know, I've had enough excitement in my life. I don't need any more. Um, but but I, I I do eventually would like to do some acute care stuff. I might do that as a nurse practitioner. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, I stayed on my unit because the management is really good. The, she has cultivated a really good crew. Now, I don't think it's because she inherited it. Because she's only been there as manager for five years at the top. So she was ahead of me being manager. Maybe, maybe at the top end of six. I always forget the COVID year. But... Some of the managers, his managers were there, one or two. She's, she's actually bossed at two units normally. She's bossed at four units right now. Uh, again, she, she, had, she had topped out at five in the middle of the COVID. Insane, insane amount. She's, that's, that's too many people. That's, as a manager, you could do that as a DON, but not as a manager. You need to have managers. Uh, I've dated DONs, so yeah, I, I know the structure. Um, the manager is very key. That's the culture that's instilled. And she's instilled a very helpful attitude. And I'll give you an example. That's why the, the, the video came up. Yesterday I had a problem with um, it was an end title situation. It was a respiratory kind of scenario. And, but the, the unit I was working on was neuro at the time. But our sister unit, which I work a lot on, is respiratory. So I called down to my friends, you know, I said, hey, look, you know, the other neuro people don't switch as much as I do for whatever reason. I don't know why. I, said, I literally almost spent 50% of my time back, back and forth. So they didn't know to anybody. They were like, oh, yeah, I'm talking to, I was like, tell her she's on the phone for me. I put my charge on the phone. I'm talking to XYZ. I said, you tell XYZ, get her ass up here. Help me. Tell her it's for Ray and whatever. They were laughing and, and they were like, okay, okay, okay. Finally, I asked one of the respiratory guys to come up and take a look at the scenario been fighting with it for half the ship and he's like I think it's the machine <laughs> it's like Ugh! and I suspected it was the machine but I'm not qualified to say that you know I was like I don't think it's this I think it's the machine but I'm not qualified to say that and I'm not you know he's respiratory he can say that you know this is his specialty everybody has their specialties and there's nothing wrong with that so finally yeah they signed off it was oh, I think it's, it's the machine we pulled the machine and I was like not, not that the patient really needed it. It was just in the orders. The patient wasn't compliant anyway, and he was fine. He was just like, you know, <laughs> I'm not doing it. I was like, okay, but the orders are there. So I'm trying to follow doctor orders, you know, provider orders. But the fact that my sister unit, it wasn't even my unit, it was my sister unit was willing to help me and go and, and, and track down stuff and do all that bespeaks well of the unit. Now, other units will be helpful. They might tube stuff up and whatever. 
but these guys have grown up. I mean, yeah, it was one personal res- uh, relationships. I know all of them. I basically they're my basically my coworkers, although officially I'm on this unit, the neuro unit. But I spent half my time there. But they knew. I knew them all by name. Knew them all. We hang out. We eat. We eat lunch together. Whatever. We, we're, we're, we're co-workers. And, and they call up and they say, Hey, Ray, we, we need a roll bell. We need this. Can you help us with this? You know, neural stuff. You know, uh, I go down there or I, I tube it over and, and I help them set it up. You know, it's like a rodeo cowboy. And uh, if you guys know what I mean, you guys will. Once you, once you get to uh, med surgeon and have to deal with all the stuff. Um, so it was, it bespoke very well of the manager and the units that I'm on that we were so helpful. You know, I've seen other units where, no, they let them dangle. It's a shame. Uh, it's everyone for themselves. It's, it's whatever. It's kind of, it, it speaks to the, the, another video I shot earlier today when I was coming off shift. I'm going on shift now. Um, about coming in early. Some of the people, some of the co-workers I work with co-workers, um, are beginning to take report early to cut loose the nurse of the previous shift. They're, they're discovering that. What does it matter to take report early? To them, it doesn't matter. You could clock in, whatever. They'll pay. It doesn't matter. That has nothing to do with it. But it helps the other nurse leave early and they're beginning to people like not early not before 7 but at 7 at 7 10 instead of 7 30 7 45 and it's beginning to get around the unit it's beginning to be absorbed i think i think I, I, that's just my my anecdotal you know witness but you know I, I i could look at it and that's my assessment right um but that speaks well to our unit i'm very happy to be in our unit and do that and I, I had said that to the, to the manager this is you know and I told her I was like you know this is what I see and I have 30 years of management experience almost 30 years of management experience so I, I could pick out things that other people they just totally glide by them even the assistant managers they because they've only been a manager for maybe 10 years five years even 15 years you know no offense that's that's nothing I've been a manager for twice that time you know so um and I had to learn the hard way and lose a lot of my own money along the way. So I really got a good, harsh, expensive education on that. But I learned, it's not just like, oh, I made a mistake, I'm gonna yell that. I made a mistake, I freaking paid for it. It was my pocket. So believe me, it's ingrained in here. <laughs> it's it's part of my DNA now. I was like, oh, okay, that, that changed my DNA because my denna is changed, you know. Um, so, for me, in my opinion to you guys, my uh, suggestion is to really test that out. You know, especially if you don't know something, especially if, don't try to figure it out on your own. Ask for help. You know, I had a really hard IV stick. There's another example, last shift. And, you know, I went to a couple of them, went to three of them, they couldn't get it either. They were like, oh, and they're like, oh my God, what the heck? I was like, look, I'm not going to bust you guys' chops for an easy stick. I, I'm not afraid of putting in an IV, but I, I looked at it and I was like, this isn't going to be easy. This isn't going to be good. Sure enough, charge couldn't do it. The other, the go couple, go to people couldn't do it. They were like, they were like, oh my God, this is hard. I was like, yeah, the tiny spider veins. I mean, what are we? I mean, they're pediatric veins, basically. You know, I don't, I, I don't want to put a. 26 or whatever. I mean, I can't, you know, ain't gonna, you know, maybe I should call one of the pediatric nurses to come in and, and do that, you know. Um, actually, I just realized I had my ID. I might have to reshoot this. Anyway, so that was another instance. If they're willing to help, you know, but it's caveated by do they have the time. I made sure all my stuff was done. Um, it wasn't a, a mission critical med. Uh, it was important med, don't get me wrong, but it wasn't like, it was, I'm, I'm not, I'm not dripping uh, a, a presser or anything like that. Um, and I waited till everybody else was done, finished everything, and then I, I asked around for help. You had to be reasonable for other people's times too. You know, you had to be considerate to other people's times. Um, but they were all willing to help. 
you know, I mean, and they were that way even when I was just starting out, you know, now I'm, I'm yeah, I'm, I'm ingrained in one of the group, but I always try to help the new newbies, uh, and we all try to help the newbies, and that's instilled in the culture of the unit, and that's something a lot of people, they're like, oh my God, like, horrible experience, you know, blah, 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 I don't want to be here no more, and some people quit nursing thinking that's the way it always is, it's not, it depends on the unit, depends on the culture, you know, I've had people just quit higher paying jobs to go lower pay because they, they want the less stress, you know, being older adults, by and large, we know stress is huge, you know, and sometimes, I would, I would, I would even hesitate to say, very often, it's worth more than the money, you know. I, uh, those of you guys that follow me, I, I, I'm 51 years old. This is my second career. I don't have to work technically. I could get away with just retiring, but I like being a nurse. Most of the people I work with don't have, have pretty much everybody. They don't know my my financial uh, scenario, you know. But I like doing this, you know. It's it's yeah. yeah I would like every dollar. <laughs> I'm not stupid, but it's a scenario where you really enjoy what you're doing compared to what I was doing. I, you know, I, I, I could do this stuff for free if I had total wherewithal. I mean, I, 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 you know, I do have bills to pay and I, I like my paycheck and I need my paycheck. Don't get me wrong. Um, but you gotta love what you're doing, you know? Um, and that, for some people, a lot of, most people don't have a choice and they're, they're stuck then they feel they're stuck. And I want you guys to know that you're not stuck in that unit. You're not stuck in whatever unit. That's the beauty about nursing, especially now. Now the worm has turned. The nurses have a lot more authority, whether or not we're going to leverage that to get more rights, higher pay, more benefits, et cetera, et cetera. You know, because back in the dark ages, they, you know, nurses were shat on. I mean, this is just ridiculous. And I think that is a gender thing because 99% of them were, were women and they were just fucking mistreated. And it was just horrible. I hear some of the stories and it's horrible from like my professors and, and older nurses. Like, yeah, this is how it used to be. I was like, what the fuck? You get arrested for that shit. You know, it's, you know, now it's, it's, it's completely different, but it's still we still sometimes feed on each other. You know, there's still that eating their own young, nurses being catty, all that stuff. That's still there. You've got to pick and choose and, and, and leave then. You've got to change it up and be aware you can. But sometimes they're like, I'm already in, ingrained. How do I make that decision earlier? And that's what this video is. It's like, you know, how do you litmus test your unit? real quick in the first six months, three to six months and say, you know, how good is this unit? You know, don't be asking, you know, every time just for bullshit and test things out. No, I'm, I'm talking about seeing when you really need somebody, are they there? Do they have your back? That's the 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 test of relationships and, and what have you. You know, when someone needs you to say, look, you know, I, I need you to come with me to do this. I need to do this. You do it. And that shows that you have their back. You know, same thing with this job. You know, do they have your back? And whether or not it's a good fit for you. If it's not a good fit, get out of Dodge. You have the wherewithal now, especially. Pick and choose. And I think managers and administrations, uh, you know, are like, holy crap. I don't think they're pivoting fast enough. I still think they're giving some blowback. I think they're still not realizing what a Armageddon scenario can look like. And I'm I'm a little leery of it too myself because I know where they're going to look to put their support. Like, okay, we're going to rely on the foundations. I'm not taking eight patients. I'm not taking nine patients. That's not safe, you know. Um, not to say my unit's doing that, not to say my administration's doing that, not to say the organization's doing that. I'm just saying, I see out there, I'm like, wow, that that's not good. But it, if it becomes industry-wide, is what I'm saying. You know, I'm seeing some 
grumblings of that. Um, just means we're getting more power, but you know, you can't fill, you know, 10 spots up with seven nurses. You still need 10 nurses at least, all right? And that's where you guys, hopefully you join us, you join the tribe, you know, keep plugging on. A lot of people are like, you know, uh, just started prereqs and what have you. I say, like, keep motoring on. I get it. You could do it. Okay. Don't worry about it. All right. Take care. Good luck.